Well, I'm guessing it's going to be a couple days before we get back in the field. Three quarters of an inch of rain and now we got snow and mud. So, have to see what Mother Nature's going to throw at us next. So, if you remember back in my video where I said you needed to keep up on these points. Yeah. You know, the maintenance gets pushed back when rain is coming. Well, I ran these too long. They wore down and got into the sides. That one actually broke loose. Wrecked the hose. Uh, yeah. So, lack of maintenance always costs a guy in the end. I got, lot, got the acres done I wanted to get done, but they got expensive in the end. So, Kobe and I are going to replace all the bad parts today. I do have them on hand, so that's good. But with snow outside and uh, we're in a 60 degree, no wind environment with the sun on. So, we'll get after it. Old parts, new parts. We got three rows done. That is worn all, I got the whole life out of them. Let's see how paper thin this, these are now. Supposed to be like that. So yeah, we ran them. We ran them right to the end. Didn't get into the fertilizer tube though, which is good. I'm gonna give it one more try. I think we have today and maybe tomorrow. Bar, so dirty. But we're gonna give it a try. Putting on fuel. So let's know how it goes. Now it's November 17th. Trying to uh, finish up corn stalks going to beans with a potash blend. Uh, it's a little tacky out here, but it seems to be working pretty good. I think we'll just keep her going. Uh, it's, I don't. Looks like we got maybe today and tomorrow, and then 19 degrees for lows. Uh, it's supposed to warm up in the 40s at the weekend, but I don't know if that'll be enough to thaw it out again to go. But uh, 400 acres to go. So any little bit helps after 6.15 in the morning. So we'll see how the day goes. I don't know if you can see that, but I am running really low on uh, fertilizer. And of course I have no truck with me in this part of the field. So I don't know if anybody else has to do that. Fold up and go get your own products. One man band. I guess I guess I should be glad I have product in the field somewhere. But it's way down there over the hill, so I'm gonna fold up and go down the road. I'm gonna shut off this blockage sensor because it beeps all the time. Shut the fan off. on Saturday but that's after two night nights of 19 degrees so I guess we'll go and 
until we can't see straight and then see what tomorrow brings. We got 120 acres left in this field and 83 at home. And then I will be done strip tilling. Covered every acre. That'll be good. Got all my fertilizer on. Because you don't want to let that go this year if you got it bought because it's not going to get any cheaper. November 18th. Uh, it must be a sign that we're not supposed to be out here. Fertilizer truck over there. Elevator brought me out one. Wouldn't start this morning. I had to jump that. Now I got the auger out. And it won't go down. So I don't know if there's the levers froze or something wrong with that. But I don't dare fill because I do not have any GPS today. I can't get it to come on. So we are doing a, another seven minute shutdown for some relay. It won't let me get to the you know you're liable for uh, running through a fence if you fall asleep page where you have to accept the guidance it won't let me get to that so here we sit it's uh about 25 degrees out there's about an inch of frost already so i don't know maybe it's a sign but i could have finished strip tilling today Another quick update this morning. Got that truck working. The valve must have had a little ice in it. That's working okay. Truck's running. Still no GPS. That's supposed to be green. I got satellite signal. And then the crazy part is they said, well, check a fuse. So I go through every one of these books, three books. There is nothing in here about fuses. So I don't know if they've renamed what a fuse is anymore. I don't know. I should have bought markers for that strip dill bar. At least we could keep going. Yeah, I just wanted to make a quick note while I'm waiting for my tech guy to come and get my GPS working. If you like the video, subscribe, give it a thumbs up. Update Friday morning, still no GPS. Coming back again today, spent two, three hours yesterday, couldn't figure it out. Hopefully they can get it today. Or today and tomorrow might be the last possible day to get anything done. So hopefully we get it running.